Hello everyone and welcome to my weekly update. Now I know from the many stories that I'm hearing right across the country that this harvest has been an exceptionally challenging one. Many of you will have heard Matt Cully, our Crops Board Chairman, and my Vice President, Tom Bradshaw, who've been making the case to the regional media uh, as to the challenges that we're facing. It's been very much a story of two halves. And of course, all of this makes the case perfectly for why our self-sufficiency day, always on the 21st of August, is so important. Now, this is the notional day when effectively all the food that we produce here would run out. Always an important day, but I think probably never more so than standing here in 2020 with our departure at the end of transition period from the EU on the 31st of December to be making that case to government. And we are very, very serious about the fact that food security needs to be measured on an annual basis, not a parliamentary cycle. And of course, self-sufficiency is one of the vital tests that need to be part of that measurement. Now, we have a fantastic maritime climate here for producing food. We're a grass-based livestock and dairy system, and we want to be world leaders in climate-friendly food production. But there are some things that we really need to focus and incentivize about producing much more of. And we've been very clear as an NFU that we need to be driving a horticultural revolution. We need to be producing much more of our vegetables here, much more of our fruit and much more of our potatoes. Sadly, we've seen all of them coming down over the last 20 years and that needs to change. We are putting huge pressure on very water scarce countries right across the world and with a population the size of ours we really need to be making sure that we are providing uh, what the nation needs and there's never been a clearer message yet from this country that they want to see more fruit and vegetables produced here in the UK. Now as ever a lot of meetings going on I've had meetings with officials in DEFRA this week um, my Deputy President Stuart Roberts has had a lot of meetings recently on bovine TB. I, I think the biggest challenge to our livestock farmers causing absolutely hideous problems over the years. Um, we are resolute in our determination to eradicate this disease and I'm delighted that he's having a very well earned two days break. Um, but I think he's gone away knowing that the policy is in as good a place as we could hope to have it at this time. So that's it from me. Another week passes. Um, I'm down here in my water meadows where it actually looks quite green, but rest assured the rest of the farm looks very brown indeed. So please do look after yourselves um, and I look forward to speaking to you all next week. Many thanks.